All right, y'all. So it is 7.15 in the morning, and I look like hell. I just woke up. Well, I just got up, rather, because I haven't been able to sleep all night. Um, <sighs> actually operating off of very little sleep, and it's always like this when I have a job. For whatever reason, the day before, I can never sleep. Um, but today, y'all, is day one of... Uh, Filming of the reality TV show that I told y'all I was going, uh, going to be a part of. Um, and I thought that it would be cool to chronicle this journey uh, from the beginning and throughout the way. Y'all have been with me um, for a long time. And I just thought it would be cool. I, and I thought that these thoughts will probably be valuable one day down the line. The uh, rawness, the freshness, the vulnerability of the first day of school um, versus what this and I may turn into. So, uh, yeah, y'all, after several offers, uh, the doll has decided to participate in a reality show. I can't believe uh, that I did because I was anti-reality TV for so long. And um, I don't know, I think... I chose to do it this time around for several reasons. Um, number one, you know, I had to be real with myself and just be honest with the fact that it ain't it ain't like I'm getting offers every damn day for pe for people to put me on TV. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it real. It ain't like oh I'm I'm Meryl Streep and I'm just turning down scripts every week. Okay, um, no bitch, I'm more like Jasmine guy. Okay, these days work ain't honest, but it what pays the bills. You got to take it where you can get it. But moreover, with reevaluating my stance on doing reality television, this particular uh, project that I'm working on is uh, showcasing me in an organic manner that is kind of true to who I am and true to my business. And thirdly, the people involved with the project, some of the other cast members, um, Sweet in the pot. It was like, okay, you know, th this could really be something. So, those were my reasons for doing it. Um, I'm not going to reveal who the other people are because uh, I, I want to wait until they do it on their own. And then I'll talk about it. I don't want to infringe on somebody else's privacy and, and what they want to tell their public. Uh, so, I'll refrain from that. Um, I'm not going to say anything. Too many other details about the show because I don't know that I can just yet. Uh, but I want to talk more about what I'm feeling. Uh, anxious, anxious, um, somewhat nervous. For, for the most part, I know what to expect, but it's those few things that I don't know what to expect that got me kind of nervous, like, you know. I know there's a certain element of bullshit that's, that's going to come along with this. And um, I'm curious to know how I fare with that. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I live a pretty even-keeled life that's relatively drama-free. Uh, you know, so, you know, signing up for a reality television show, let's just keep it real. You're signing up to be a part of a shitstorm and a shitstorm of drama. I mean... In essence, that's what reality television has evolved to. Um, so I'm curious to know how I fare out with all of that. Um, things I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, I'm looking forward to like being anti what everybody else in Atlanta is. Like I'm looking forward to being anti. Oh, I don't did three episodes on the show. Now I wear Gucci and red bottoms and Balenciagas through the mall into the park. I'm looking forward to being anti that. I'm looking forward to being anti, you know, oh, we had one successful season. Now I drive the G-Wagon. I'm looking forward to being anti, uh, started from the bottom, now we here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm more looking forward to the whole you know, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm just Jenny. Jenny from the block. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've never been 
the Gucci and Gold Girl. I've just never been that girl. And y'all, please, if by some unearthly reason I morph into that, somebody please shoot me. Somebody please pull me to the side and be like, Q, Dineva, what are you doing? Like, I'm, I'm just so looking forward to somewhat being all things everybody else ain't in this game, all while having fun. Lisa Woolhartwell gave me some really good advice. Um, you know, I consulted with a lot of people about taking on this project, and she was like, you know what, the most important thing of all is to have fun. Um, and that's what I plan to do. You know, the interesting thing is going to be now being on the front end of the camera, living, living much of the advice that I've dished out for the six or seven years. Um, about living in your truth and allowing bitches to spray you with your tea and all these different things. This should be very interesting. And I'm sure there are a whole lot of people out there, celebrities and fans alike, that are waiting to get into my ass and read my ass and make videos. And listen, I'm all for it. Um, I mean, hell, I made a career out of it, so I can't. Can't give it. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. It shall be interesting being on the other side of the camera. So, all in all, you know, um, yeah, you know, this is going to be a busy summer, y'all. Today is the first day uh, since I quit corporate America that I had to basically punch in and be somewhere on somebody else's time on their time when they tell me to. Uh, so, that's a bittersweet moment. Um, because I haven't done that in over seven years. Or whatever. And granted, I still work for myself. But bitch, I got to be somewhere where these people tell me to be somewhere on a consistent basis. So that that's a little different feeling owned after feeling free for so long. Then it doesn't make it any better that the other project that I'm working on is a, a daily project. Um, that's going to require a bitch to clock in at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, five days a week. And... Bitch, we got to report to work there in the next 30, 45 days or whatever. So it's going to be a busy summer for the dog in an eventful fall. Um, I'm excited. Thank y'all so much. Uh, where I'm at today is a culmination of everything that you guys helped me build. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was important. You know, I got a lot of messages about you know, don't, I hate when people tell people about what they do. Don't you know, people are hate on you and people are trying to block, block what you're doing and fine. And I'm, you know, y'all, I, I, I don't live my life on the defense. I don't live my life scared to share information because I'm, I, I'm scared that people want to, you know, do something damaging to me. And yes, I'm not naive. I know that people do do that. But you know what? If you feel the desire to do it and you can by all means try you know what I'm saying at the very end of the day what's for me is going to be regardless of how you try to intervene and what type of salt you try to throw in the game um, and plus I'm pretty confident at this point it ain't nothing or nobody out there uh, basically at this point that can block any of what's going on I mean paperwork is signed shit got air dates and you know the, the shit is happening hell it done happened um Folks getting checks and filling out insurance paperwork and all that kind of foolishness. So, um, y'all, it should be fun. Like I said, I appreciate y'all. And, and I figured y'all would appreciate kind of seeing this more vulnerable side of me. Um, hey, I mean, this was great practice for letting y'all into my real world uh, coming up on this damn show. So, I might as well leave you with my thoughts and hey, this is, maybe this clip from this will make it into the reunion or something. I don't know. Or, you know, when they do my unsung, <laughs> when they do my unsung 75 years from that bitch, don't do my unsung um, and I'm still not even drawing social security yet. Okay? Do, uh -uh, don't do me, bitch. Don't, don't, don't lump me in there with Donnell Jones and Dave Hollister and SWB and Escape. Uh -huh, honey, do my unsung after I don't set my ass down somewhere and, and like the dad, okay? When I'm old and decrepit. Or do my unsung after they don't name the boulevard after me, 
Okay, well, they don't start naming elementary schools after me. Don't do my unsung while I'm still 40 and fine. Okay. And then maybe this will make it in my unsung. Anyway, um, y'all, I still got to get in here and do something to this head and pack clothes and all this other stuff. I got to be on set at 10 o'clock. So, um, I may do a follow-up video later on this evening. Um, obviously, I won't be able to tell y'all anything. Um, but... These bitches can't control me speaking on my, my feelings about situations. So, I think that'll be the workaround. Um, that'll be the workaround. I can at least talk to y'all about how I feel and about what's going through my head and so on and so forth um, on this journey until until we, we get further and I get the green light to really go in and let out. Anyway, I'm rambling and I need to get in here and walk the dogs and get ready before the car gets here. I will talk to y'all later, y'all. Uh, Pray for me and wish me luck. See you soon, girl. See you on the other.